Learning new details about a number or member of the West Virginia National Guard who was killed yesterday during a training exercise in Suffolk. Officials identified the soldiers, 36-year-old Sergeant First Class Nicholas Shepardy. Ten on your side, Gina Revelo shows us this accident investigation that's still ongoing, Gina. Yeah, Tom and Anita were told the accident was not a result of equipment failure. However, there are still so many unanswered questions as to what happened, and officials say we won't know until the investigation is finished. Officials say Shepardy was part of a special forces team doing routine free fall training. Uh, I can't tell you there, that there was not a, a, an equipment malfunction. Though it's not clear what led up to the accident, people who saw the training as it was going on were shocked to find out what happened. It was just unreal that we happened to come by and then that happened after that. Dorothy Kluchinski was driving to the Outer Banks with her husband and snapped these photos. I took pictures and I could see that one of them was in a position like he was seated, the way he had his legs out and um, coming down. At one point, I was seeing trees to the left of me. A spokesperson for the West Virginia National Guard confirmed Shepardy did not fall into a tree, but they couldn't release any more details. The Green Beret had previously enlisted in the Marines in 2002, and he served in multiple combat tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. He also received the Bronze Star and the Purple Heart. This is a guy who uh, didn't have to be doing what he was doing yesterday. He'd served his time. He served his country well. Officials remembered Shepardy as a true patriot. Nick Shepardy lived the Army values in a, in a world and a country that sometimes has lost its focus on values. If you want to do something for Nick and his family, my response to folks was, go out and live the Army values. Make this country just a little bit better than it was yesterday. Shepardy was a resident of Baltimore City, Maryland, and a Virginia native. The investigation is ongoing. We'll be sure to let you know if there are any updates. Gina Arevalo, 10 on your side.